Hello, I'm Fontaine, sound designer, software tutor, founder of the VIPSoundLab.com. The MPC 2.2 update is a firmware and software update. The MPC 2.2 desktop software cannot be controlled by any external MIDI control surface such as keyboards and pad controllers, enabling hands-on control of MPC's predefined parameters. To download the MPC 2.2 desktop software update, log into your Akai Pro user account or through the MPC 2.1 when prompted. As we mentioned earlier, the MPC desktop software can now be controlled by external MIDI control surfaces such as keyboards and pad controllers. Once you have configured a global MIDI Learn template, its assignments and the enable on off will persist so that each time you open the MPC application, your controller assignments will instantly be ready to be used. So it's now possible to learn your MIDI controller's physical controls to the MPC software's pads, cue links, transport, or other assignable parameters. To show the MIDI Learn panel, you can do so by going to View, Browser, MIDI Learn, or by clicking the MIDI Learn icon in the status bar at the bottom of the MPC app. To learn your controller to MPC parameters, go to the MIDI Learn panel and click the Learn button on. Then in the MPC app, click on any parameter that has a yellow overlay to select it. Then move or press a physical control. You can now toggle a MIDI map on or off using the enable button. In the MIDI Learn panel, the drop down menu in the top right hand corner contains the following options for managing your MIDI maps New, Duplicate, Clear, Delete, Export, and Import. MPC ships with a range of factory MIDI maps for popular MIDI controllers. When Learn is on, hold Shift and move a physical control to select the slot in the list it has been mapped to. Let's take a look at the MPC's MIDI Learn within project features. The MPC standalone and desktop software's automatable parameters can now be controlled by external MIDI control surfaces such as keyboards, pad controllers, and MIDI mixers. To set this up, learn your MIDI controller's physical controls to MPC's automatable parameters. You can configure a control surface as a mixer surface to control the volume, pan, and sends of programs and audio tracks in your projects. You can also control program parameters such as drum program filters and synthesizer parameters. You can also control insert effects and other automatable parameters. When learn is on, hold Alt and move the controls on your MIDI controller to quickly add multiple assignment slots. You can also take your projects with all of your project MIDI controller assignments from the desktop software to your standalone. The Akai Pro MPC 2.2 update also has some great features known as Humanize, Generate Random Events, as well as multiple plugin windows. You can now randomize the timing or velocity of MIDI events. From the GUI, go to Edit, Humanize. To generate random events, MPC can now generate random melodic patterns and drum beats. From the GUI, go to Tools, Generate Random Events.
There is now a preference option to toggle displaying multiple plugin windows on or off. Go to Preferences, General, Allow Multiple Plugin Windows. You can also export your MIDI mappings to your desktop to be used in your standalone for later use. Let's take a look at standalone mode. In standalone, go to MIDI control mode. Tap the plus icon to create an empty MIDI assignment slot. Tap the learn button to begin listening to incoming controller messages. The currently selected slot is now listening for an incoming MIDI message. Move the physical control on your MIDI controller to assign it and this will populate the type, channel, and data fields with the incoming MIDI message. To assign the slot to an NPC automation parameter such as volume, in the left hand inspector, go to the source field and assign it to program. Next to the parameter field, set this to mixer. Volume. Turn learn off and move the physical control you assigned. It should now move the volume. These assignments will be saved and recalled with your NPC project. When NPC cannot accurately determine the type of incoming message, you can edit the type using the type field. That concludes this module for the NPC 2.2 update. My name is Fontaine. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.